Hello everyone, this is David Maynard from Long McQuay, Toronto and today I'll be demonstrating how to program a style on any Yamaha Arranger keyboard. Uh, I'll be doing it on the new Tyrus 5 simply because it has a much larger screen and because the sound quality is awesome, so check it out. I'm just going to start with something very basic, something that only gives me the uh, number of bars, the time signature and approximately the tempo I'm looking for and then I, I'm going to change it completely and make it my own. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe choose some kind of a, d a dance one just because it has a very basic kind of uh, pattern. Um, I'm just going to choose the synth pop just because. And uh, um, so once I choose a style that's, this is what it sounds like uh, originally. I'm going to completely decimate that style. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, function button. Uh, on different uh, Yamaha keyboards it starts differently. On the Tyros there is actually a creator button that you use to start uh, and in all the PSRS series it is the function button and but what you where you're trying to get is the style creator menu. So either through the function or through the creator you get to style creator. Once you press the style creator in this page is where we do our recording what you see down here are all the tracks that and all the instrument that this style is made out of. Uh, you have a rhythm, you have two types of rhythm tracks, you have a bass, you have two chords, a pad and phrases that you can use, so eight in total. Uh, my time signature is four by four, my pattern length is four bars and my tempo is 118 and I'm just going to change it to 120 over here. The way to do that is just to tab over uh, to the section you want to change and then simply use either the wheel or the plus minus keys to change that as well. So right now we got into that screen and then we're going to get out of it by pressing the record channel that's right here on the top right um, corner of the screen back to my main recording screen. So I'm going to start with the rhythm, which is right here on the left. And in order to arm a channel, what I need to do is to press the record channel button on top. And while holding it, press on the button that's next to the track I want to start recording like that. So record channel and then arm the track until the red record uh, appears underneath that track. I'm now going to go ahead and delete all the information on that track. I'm actually going to delete all the information on all the tracks by holding the delete button. And this will be good also if you recorded something that you're not happy with, you just want to delete your performance, you press the delete button or the button next to the delete uh, symbol on the screen and then press on the top arrow button next to the track you want to delete and that will just delete everything that was recorded there. All right, so now that we deleted everything that we uh, that was originally in that style, we can start recording this uh, style from scratch. And we're going to do it by arming our first track. We're going to press the rec channel uh, button right here on the top of this right screen. And then press on the down arrow button next to the track we want to start recording right over here. So now we arm this first track over here. And now it's time to select the instrument we want to use. We're going to do that by pressing the up arrow button right next to that track. And now we're in that group of instrument that that track was in. And I'm going to select a more tra traditional kit here. This is the rhythm section. So I'm going to select an acoustic kit and exit back to my recording screen by pressing exit. I'm now ready to record. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my metronome. I'm going to turn it on like so. Just going to turn the tempo up a little bit. Exit back. Oh, return. Rec channel is my escape to my main recording uh, screen. And I'm going to press sync start. So metronome, sync start. I can now start. Just a basic rhythm. Now if you notice that my playing wasn't 100% accurate and uh, the way to correct that is to tab over to a screen called channel. In channel we have a quantize function which uh, 
uh, corrects the uh, your playing to the closest beat possible and I'm going to do that by pressing execute. Now you can choose different types of quantization whole note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteen notes, I usually use sixteen notes sometimes you'll need the triplet, it depends on the style you're recording press execute and now everything has been set perfectly to the beat I can test that by pressing the metronome and I can see that my playing matches the metronome precisely I'm going to return to my main screen, my main recording screen, by pressing the rec channel button right on top here. And now I can add maybe some symbols. Maybe a crash uh, on, the, on the first bar. I can always check where I am in the style by looking at the bars right over here bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, and bar 4, and my, my style starts on bar number 1. So now I recorded my drum kit, I'm going to move into my second rhythm track by arming it. I don't have to stop the, the style, I can just press the record channel and then the down arrow next to that track, like so. But in order to test the instrument, I'm going to have to stop the style, otherwise it records everything I do. So I'm going to press the up arrow next to that new track I just armed and select a different type of instrument, maybe some sort of a, uh, uh, a percussion kit, maybe a Cuban Latin. That sounds good to me. We're going to exit back and rec channel again. Oh, actually, I'm already there, so no need to do that. Metronome on, sync start, and now it's going to start recording as soon as I touch the keys. Let's see. Again, my playing was a little bit off, so I'm going to tab over and tab back to the channel and press execute for the quantize. That should make it just even. Now, I'm not so happy with the mix between the drum kit and the percussion I'm, and I can fix that by going into my mixing console over here. Once I'm in the mixing console, the screen opens up and in the volume voice uh, tab I can correct my levels. I can do that by pressing the up arrow like that, bringing my drum kit a little higher, bringing my percussion a little lower until I'm happy with the result. Uh, in the Tyrus you can also use the slide as a, like in a traditional mixer. Most PSR uh, S-series and even the older PSR uh, arrangers by Yamaha uh, just have these buttons on top, but they are all the same. So once you learn this uh, grid and these functions, you can use them on um, any other uh, Yamaha arranger keyboard, including the, uh, the ones from, from the late 90s. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to, to my next track. I'm happy with my rhythm section. Exit, rec channel to exit to my main recording screen, and now I can choose my bass sound. I'm going to arm that track by pressing record channel and the down arrow next to that track. Select my voice up here, and I'm going to select it from the voice from the actual uh, group uh, instrument group buttons on the panel of the keyboard. You on every uh, uh, arranger keyboard, you will see the the groups on the right side of the screen. I'm going to go into my bass section. I'm going to choose a more traditional bass sound. Remember not to play while the style is playing, otherwise it records everything. So I'm going to stop the style and see if my bass sound is right. Sounds pretty good. It's a little low, so I'm going to go into my mixing console, correct the levels of that bass. That sounds a little little better and exit back to my main recording track. I think I'm ready to go. Metronome, sync start again so it starts exactly when I start and whenever I'm ready I can just keep going. I'm recording a four bar pattern so it's just gonna loop once I stop playing. I'm gonna quantize that by going to my channel and execute. Now, something very important you need to know when you're recording styles on an arranger is that 
all your instruments have to be in the key of C. All tuned instruments have to be in the key of C. Uh, don't change chords in the middle, uh, just keep it in the key of C. Uh, you will change the chords later uh, when you play the style once you exit the recording mode. But always keep it in the key of C, only white keys only. So only the C note for the bass or any other corresponding note from that scale. Um, that's a very important tip actually. Uh, back into my rec channel, I have my bass line now. And I'm going to record my next track, which will be my chord. Again, rec channel, down button to select that track, up arrow to select my instrument. I'm going to select it from the uh, instrument group uh, buttons on the right side of my screen. I'm going to select the piano I like, a little bit low, so I'm going to go to my mixing console, raise the piano up either with these buttons, with the data entry wheel, or with the sliders on the Tyros. I'm pretty happy with that, so let's exit back, and we can start recording metronome, sync start, whenever I'm ready. Now let's say I'm not happy with that performance, I just want to start it over again, I can press delete, and the delete button right on top of that track, like so. And now I'm ready to start again. I can watch my bars here and just start on the next time go around. Pretty simple pattern. Tab over, tab back to channel. Execute to quantize. Everything's nice and perfect now. I can move on to my next track. Rec, rec channel back to my main. Arm it by holding and pressing the down arrow next to my next track. I'm going to select some sound of some kind of an organ sound just for a pad. Up arrow to choose my sound. My uh, instrument group buttons on the right side of the screen to select the sound I want. I'm going to test my sound first. I have to stop, make sure it doesn't record me. That's a little bit low, so I'm going to go into my mixing console, correct my level. That should be good. Exit back to, to the screen. Metronome, sync start, and I'm ready to go. Still a little bit low, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Piano's a little loud, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Sounds good to me. And I'm going to not forget to quantize that, so tab over, execute, and everything is nicely quantized now. Next, next track, I'm gonna record a little phrase. So I'm gonna choose my phrase track, which is right over here. Record channel, down arrow to select it up arrow to select a, a sound it's a little bit that's a that's a nice sound i think the levels are pretty good let's just bring it up a little that sounds good to me exit back to my main recording screen metronome sync start and whenever i'm ready forget to quantize that tabbing over tabbing back to the channel and execute everything is uh, sounds uh, pretty solid right now and I'm pretty happy with the result I can play with that so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna do it by pressing the button next to the save save again just follow the prompts here this is the down arrow for saving I'm gonna change the name of this to um, David What is that? Pop rock? Pop. Pop. And press OK. It now is saving it into my user bank. Uh, I can change that. I can tap, tap over to save it into my USB or into the internal hard drive. Usually I use the user bank. I think it's ready to go now, so I'm going to exit. 
the entire screen and now my style is ready to play along with. Alright, so let's see what this style sounds like when I play it. I can now switch chords. And it follows exactly the same pattern I created on the different chords. This little pattern now exists in the A ver variation right over here. And if I want to record the B and the C and the D, I follow exactly the same steps by going into the function or the creator, style creator, and then by choosing the next variation I want to create, I can select it by pressing OK, or I can scroll down to a different variation. Uh, I can record all my fill-ins, I can record my intros, my breaks and the endings, uh, following the prompts over here and following exactly the same steps I just showed you. Uh, this procedure applies to every Yamaha Arranger dating all the way back from the late 90s, the PSR 1000 to 2000, 3000, 9000, um, including the PSR S series, the 700, uh, 900, 710, 910, 750, 950, and of course the entire Tyra series. So this is how you create styles on the Yamaha Arranger series. Enjoy.